Hello, everyone. I'm Janet Johnson, Director of Alumni Relations and Volunteer USI. And on behalf of the USI Alumni Association, welcome to the 2020 Founders Day celebration. Before we begin, I would like to remind you that to enable closed captioning, please select CC at the bottom of your screen and activate subtitles. While we miss being with you and greeting you in person, it is especially nice to have guests with us virtually who may not have been able to travel to campus. Joining us are alumni from Texas and Michigan and Tennessee, Missouri, as well as Indiana, Illinois, and Kentucky, and guests from our Evansville area. We are so glad you could join us. Today we celebrate those who in the 1960s had a vision for public higher education in Southern Indiana, which brought about the birth of this institution, the impact of USI on this region, in our state and beyond, is far greater than even our founders could have dreamed. Today, we also celebrate the achievements of faculty, students, alumni, and friends who have made a difference at USI and with the Alumni Association. It's my pleasure to recognize members of our Board of Trustees who have joined us today. Ken Sindewick, Class of 1976, Chair of the USI Board of Trustees. John Dunn and Harold Calloway, and Harold's wife Frankie are with us today. I also want to recognize former USI President Linda L. M. Bennett. Evansville Mayor Lloyd Winnicky is with us today, welcome. As well as a member of our legislative delegation, State Representative Wendy McNamara. We're so glad you could all join us. At this time, I'd like to welcome USI President Ronald S. Roshan to share a few remarks. Thanks, Janet. Uh, listen, good afternoon to everybody. I am so happy to, uh, to see you all. I'm just able to, to, to greet our, um, our honorees personally, and uh, it's good to see those folks as well. I know COVID-19 has really created some, some inconveniences for us uh, with regard to us really having the opportunity to, to sit together and, and have fellowship, but it's still good you know, to have this technology available so that we can actually pay close attention to why we're here, and it's the founding of this amazing university. On September 15, 1965, we, we opened our doors for the very first time. So much has happened over the last 55 years at USI. More than a half a century ago, an institution of public higher education in southwestern Indiana was the dream of many business and community leaders. It's difficult today to imagine what this community and region would be like without the University of Southern Indiana. It took the perseverance of many people to make this dream a reality. In fact, I just uh, presented a uh, schematic to the, uh, the Commission of Higher Education, uh, a sense of what we're gonna need with this new biennial period. And the first slide that I had was a picture of Dr. David L. Rice uh, with a, a visionary picture of what the campus could look like. Uh, there was uh, nothing there at all but acreage and them, him trying to help folks understand the state house and around the state, in fact, that this region deserved an institution. As we celebrate USI's 55th anniversary, and we also celebrate the 49 years of the Alumni Association, uh, chartered in 1971 by its first graduating class, the Alumni Association has grown now to over 45,000 members. The Alumni Association supports numerous programs for students and alumni and annually awards 41 different scholarships and internship stipends. USI alumni are physicians, scientists, attorneys, teachers, college professors, CEOs, presidents of companies, and also entrepreneurs, and many, many other professions across the globe. They live and work in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, the US Virgin Islands, and in 51 other countries throughout the world, 51 other countries throughout the world. At this time, I'd like to recognize the members of the Alumni Council. These alumni were elected to serve the association. And I just wanna thank each of you for your commitment and also for your leadership to the University of Southern Indiana. 
it's truly a pleasure. To be able to celebrate Founders Day at this university is something special. And we should take a moment to pause and reflect on the women and men, the work that they provided to make this dream come to fruition. So I'm very, very thankful. Today, we're pleased to honor the many people who have helped build this university and who helped to build such an important part of history. So I'd like to right now invite Anna Arderling, class of 2022, to deliver a tribute to our founders. Anna? Thank you, Dr. Roshan. Uh, I've always been honored to call myself a Scriegel. With every class, I have felt myself growing into a scholar. With every meeting, I have felt myself growing into a professional. And with every passing day, I have felt myself falling more in love with the school I call home. And from the moment I toured the University of Southern Indiana as a senior in high school, I knew that I would be happy here. But what I didn't know was that this university would be my absolute favorite place. In fact, I didn't fully realize this until I had to leave due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Of course, I was upset that the semester was being cut short, but sitting at home gave me a lot of time to think about all that I was really missing. I missed sitting in the UC with my friends chatting about the lecture we were just in. I missed scrambling to plan meetings for my organization and really believing that the font on the poster was the absolute most important thing. I missed sitting in the multicultural center and feeling the chaotic energy of the room as everyone rushed to welcome each other and ask about their days. I missed walking across the quad and seeing a professor with whom I had only met once or twice wave at me with excitement. I missed sitting in office hours and working to figure out problems. I missed the echo of the stairwell in the art center as I rushed to get to my voice lesson on time. I missed laughing with my classmates before the professor walked in. I missed my friends challenging me to take on new leadership positions. I missed the loud rumble of Starbucks contrasting with the click of my shoes as I walked through the ever so silent library. I missed hanging out in the honors office. I missed walking through the art gallery on campus and enjoying the wonderful theatrical productions. I missed sitting in the basement of the library until 11 o'clock at night discussing and debating philosophy. I missed arguing with professors and classmates over which policy would be most effective. I missed the late nights of studying or planning and the exhaustion that would inevitably follow the next morning. I missed the culture nights hosted by international programs. I missed seeing all the friendly faces in the administrative wing. I missed the thrill of seeing my favorite parking spot being empty. I missed fist bumps with James the bus driver. I missed the excitement of seeing Dr. Roshan walking around campus. I missed walking past the cone on a sunny day and I missed the sunsets over Reflection Lake. I missed the smile I could never quite contain as I sang the alma mater with the chamber choir. I missed the beautiful flowers and the tree covered path between the education and liberal arts buildings. I missed my friends and my acquaintances and even the people I had yet to meet because they were all part of my world and the life I had built here at USI. The University of, the University of Southern Indiana isn't just a school, it's a life. It's the first thing I see when I wake up in the morning and the last I see when I fall asleep. It is my journey to becoming the professional I have always wanted to be. It is opportunity and second chances. It is help when I need it and service when I can give it. The University of Southern Indiana was the first thing in my life that was really mine. I could shape my experience here into whatever I wanted. I could be as successful as I dared. I could push boundaries and explore my interests. Many things in life are stagnant. The small town I grew up in never changes. <laughs> things are the way they always have been. But USI isn't. USI is constantly changing and moving, growing, improving. And it allows for the self-actualization of its students. If we see something missing, we can work to improve it. We can create concrete change in an ever so stubborn world. We can make an impact here far beyond our short time as students. And there are few times in our lives and places in this world where that is really possible. During my time at USI, I've learned just as much outside of the classroom as I did inside one. I want to be a politician. 
Through running a student organization, I have gained actual executive experience. I have been working to get a polling location at USI for over a year now. And through this endeavor, I have made meaningful connections within the Evansville community, within the campus community, and learned indescribable amounts about the realities of bureaucracy, power exchanges, non-governmental organizations, grassroots organizing, and so much more. Through USI, I've been able to meet legislators, work on campaigns, and build professional networks to help get my foot in the door when I enter the real world. The university has proven its commitment to students and continues to do so every day. The faculty and staff here work tirelessly to create opportunities for us so that we can thrive both in our academics and in our lives. The University of Southern Indiana has proven to be the stepping stone I needed to take me from being a kid with big dreams to being a young adult with tangible skills to make those dreams a reality. USI has become the home I didn't know I was missing and the family I never want to leave again. Today we celebrate the rich history of this university and the founders who devoted themselves to its advancement. We remember all of the places we've been and the things we've done. But if this year has taught us anything, it is that no one knows what tomorrow may bring. As we take today to look back at where we've been, let's not lose sight of where we're going. And as we celebrate the values at the root of our foundation, let us continue to grow, challenge, explore, adapt, and push boundaries as we forge a new tomorrow together. Thank you. Janet, I've got to take a point of privilege. I'm sorry. You go um, I have to. Uh, Anna, let me just say on behalf of this entire audience, you just touched up. You just gave me goosies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, that was so beautiful. Um, let, me let, let me let you know that we love you. We are thankful for you. You are a blessing. And we are so fortunate to have you as one of ours. Thank you for those words, Anna. Thank you so very much. You just touched this president, lady. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you, Anna. We appreciate your inspiring words. And I felt like I was strolling around campus. It was really fun to envision all of your experiences. And I think we can all recognize that you're making the most of your time here at USI and wow, what a role model you are. Thank you. Each year, the Alumni Association recognizes three individuals for their outstanding service to USI and the Alumni Association. The first award will be presented by Anthony Goodwin, class of 1989 and treasurer of the USI Alumni Association. Hello, thank you. It is a pleasure to be here. Annually, the Alumni Association presents the Honorary Alumni Award to one or more individuals who have demonstrated outstanding service or generosity to the university. Today, the Honorary Alumni Award is being presented with much gratitude to Heidi Gregory Gahn. For her dedication and service to the University of Southern Indiana and for making a profound impact in the lives of USI students. Heidi exemplifies what it means to be a servant leader, dedicated, caring, and passionate are words that describes Heidi's character active in the field of international education for more than 40 years, with more than half of that time spent right here at USI, Heidi developed the Center for International Programs from a one-person basement cubicle to the robust unit supporting international students, study abroad, international admissions and recruitment, and USI's extensive English program. She truly poured her heart and soul into supporting USI students. The love and care that Heidi showed to students is why they all so lovingly refer to as Mama Heidi. Heidi has always believed in the transformational power of international education and its role in creating a more peaceful world through cross-cultural competence and understanding. One of the best examples of Heidi's impact is the Young Iraqi Leadership Exchange Program when 23 students from war-torn Iraq came to USI for leadership training. The theme for the program 
was be the change that you want to see in the world. Everyone involved in this initiative, the Iraqi students, the USI staff and faculty, as well as Evansville community members, came away with a deeper understanding of our shared humanity and unwavering belief in each individual's potential to affect positive and long lasting change in this world. While at USI, she built a program that continues to impact students, faculty and staff in a positive way, pushes us to growth as global citizens. Heidi became, Heidi, because of your unwavering commitment as a global ambassador for USI, influencing others to do the same, and for your genuine love and care for USI students and this wonderful institution, you are most deserving to be recognized as an honorary USI alum. Congratulations, and we so wonderfully applaud you. Heidi, please, we would like for you to make a few remarks. Well, thank you so much for those kind words and uh, for this great honor. Um, it's such a pleasure and a joy to be with you all today. And um, Anna, your words were so touching and so moving. I really miss being on campus after hearing your, your great story. But I just want to thank you all for believing in me and for giving me this, this very great honor. Um, the journey at USI since 1998, when I moved out to USI from from another uh, position uh, was one of the best decisions of my career and uh, I never looked back. Every day was filled with joy. The journey was just a joyful journey. And um, as Tony mentioned, you know, starting in a small office with a handful of students and a handful of inter uh, study abroad students, um, it was just so exciting to watch it grow and change and evolve. And um, I'll never forget one of my first I think the very first encounter I had with an international student at USI was with somebody named Vladimir from Uzbekistan who was on his way to USI. And we talked on the phone one of the first days when I moved out to USI. Um, and I'm so pleased to report that now I'm living in Chicago. My husband and I are back um, home, if you will, in Chicago. And um, the very first connection that I was able to remake here in Chicago was with Vladimir and his wife, Emily, who's also a USI alum. They're doing great things here, and uh, to see the impact of you know his his education. In fact, he was one of Ernie Hall's students, I believe. Um, but to see the impact of the USI education on both of them and what great things they're doing right now is so fulfilling. Um, although it was a very small community when I first moved out in terms of international students, one thing that USI had at that time was a sense of community, and that struck me so much when I interviewed this strong sense of community, there was a can-do spirit and there was a belief in possibilities. And that was, um, those, those factors, those elements have not changed over the years. Um, it's been such a joy and the journey has been filled with so many wonderful people, both students and, and staff and colleagues and people in the community. And so it's a great, great honor to accept this award today. And I thank you so much for allowing me to become an honorary Scribble. And uh, Janet asked me to show, oh, I don't know if you can see it with a virtual background, this gorgeous crystal award. I don't think it's coming through very well, but it's a beautiful, beautiful award. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ashley Schultz class of 2010 and immediate past president of the Alumni Association. Today, it is my pleasure to present the Faculty Recognition Award to Dr. Ernest H. Hall, Jr., a dedicated, inspiring educator who began his career at USI in 1992 as director of the USI's Small Business Institute and has gained the respect of students and colleagues alike. Dr. Hall is highly effective in teaching both undergraduate and graduate courses. His teaching record shows a particularly keen interest in facilitating student learning, and he supports students with a steady approach of respect while challenging them to achieve their best. He brings course content to life by relating it to real life management situations. 
students and peers alike hold him up as a consummate professional, a professor with the highest level of integrity. As director of the USI MBA program, Dr. Hall played a key role in laying the foundation to launch the highly successful online MBA program. Currently, he serves the editorial review board for the Journal of Business Strategies and is consulting editor for the Journal of Social Psychology. Over the course of his career, Dr. Hall has had an impressive record of scholarly works published in prominent journals in the field of management. He has served in various roles at USI and has been a USI representative for initiatives in the community. Dr. Hall has received several research fellowships and awards at USI, has had many published works and other honors, but most impressive is how his peers and students describe him as a professional, an individual with strong ethical values, a committed leader, a professor who cares about his students and teaches them with enthusiasm. The Alumni Association is honored to present the 2020 Faculty Recognition Award to Ernest H. Hall Jr. for leadership and scholarship to the Romaine College of Business and for his exemplary devotion to the success of USI students. Also, as part of this award, Dr. Hall will select a student to receive a $1,500 scholarship named in his honor. Dr. Hall, today we congratulate you and thank you for making an outstanding and significant impact on USI through your leadership, scholarship, and service. Dr. Hall, would you like to make a few remarks? Thank you, Ashley. Uh, it's always nice to hear and see our students after we've They've graduated and moved on and so I've had Ashley in my class as well and uh, so it's nice to see her face again I uh, wanted to go ahead first of all before I forget to hold up and I'm honored to be able to receive this award uh, one of the things that that's really special to me about this is that it comes from the Alumni Association and the involvement of students that have uh, gone through the university and so as Anna was talking about earlier on uh, they become very intimate uh, with the USI tradition and what we stand for at USI. So I'm very honored and humbled to be able to receive this award. Uh, quite frankly, I never ever put myself in the caliber of the people that had received it in the past. So it's not something that I'd ever considered or ever thought about. Uh, and when I got the call actually uh, from Jan Johnson, that was the first that I heard of it. So I had absolutely no clue. So it was a complete surprise and a pleasant one. And one of the things that was nice about this was that the thought that somebody somewhere had actually thought of my name at some point to go ahead and at least make it a point of consideration for this award is really humbling. Uh, many times we don't get to see what happens when our students leave. We get to have them in our class for a very short period of time, uh, especially given that I teach seniors and most of the time graduating seniors. I get to see them for three and a half, four months and then they're gone. Uh, and so it's nice over the years that some of them have come back and contacted me and even stopped by to say hello and to thank me. That, that's been a real, real treat for me. Uh, as it was mentioned, I, I first arrived at USI in 1992. And uh, my plan at that particular time was to stay, stay here at USI for maybe five years. And then I was gonna move on and go somewhere else. Well, uh, I just started my 29th year here at USI. And so you might ask, well, what happened? Uh, what happened to that? Well, what happened was USI happened. And what I mean by that is when you're part of the USI community and you actually come on campus, you can feel it. Uh, one of the real successes of Southern Hospitality Days when we have parents and potential students coming on campus is that they get to feel what USI is all about. And I felt that. And I was 
I actually had the pleasure to become part of that over these 28 years now and counting. But one of the things that happens when I remember to being a uh, chairing search committees and trying to attract faculty to come here to USI over the years, one of the things that always crossed our minds was we have to get them on campus. If we can just get them to come to campus, they will feel it. And I've had so many people over the years that have come to campus for interviews that said, you know, there was something different about USI. And I believe that's true. And if, unless you've been there, you can't experience it. Uh, so thank you for this honor. It's been a privilege to be here and be associated with USI for these past 28 years. Uh, it's it's real pleasure to me to be able to serve here and hopefully make a little bit of a contribution and just grateful for the founders and others who have who have the vision uh, of looking at this this land and this area here and saying, you know what, we're going to build a university. And I think that uh, they need to be honored for that. And it's such a great, great uh, university. And to be a part of that has been a real treat. So thank you once again for this award. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jared McIntosh, uh, class of 2011. I am the current president of the USI Alumni Council. Um, and it is my pleasure to present the Alumni Service Award. The mission of the USI Alumni Association is to serve and to develop a committed body of alumni dedicated to promoting and enhancing the excellence and prestige of the university. The association has high expectations of the organization and the members itself. The individual who will receive this year's Alumni Service Award has reached those high expectations and indeed personifies the association's mission. Mr. Jeffrey Wilmus, class of 1981, is an extraordinary example of a successful alumnus who gives back to his alma mater. In true Screaming Eagle fashion, he is engaged, generous, and always willing to serve. USI has become an integral part of his life, beginning with his time as a student, and remains one of his greatest interests and passions. Immediately after graduation, Jeff became involved in the USI athletics, keeping statistics with the basketball games. Uh, he is also a longtime varsity club member and currently serves on the board. Jeff and his wife, Lori, have been basketball season ticket holders for many years. Jeff began his accounting career at George S. Olive and Company, which is now BKD LLP, and remained there until his retirement. Throughout his career, he guided and mentored countless young tax accountants and USI students who interned at BKD. Jeff has been a member of the accounting circle, he served as past chair as well as the group's uh, curriculum committee. And in 2009, he was recognized with the Romaine College of Business Distinguished Accountant Award. Additionally, Jeff has served as chair of the audit committee of the USI Foundation Board of Directors and was an instrumental advisor to the USI campaign, elevating excellence as a campaign member of the cabinet. Jeff's service to our community is admirable, admirable as well lending his professional expertise to organizations such as the United Way of Southern Indiana, the Evansville Catholic Diocese, and the Aline and Edgar Wright um, uh, Iglehart Foundation, as many as other foundations as well. He's an outstanding example of the high caliber students that USI develops, who are successful in their careers and who continue their involvement with the university. Jeff's service to the university and our community is nothing short of remarkable and are to be commended. Jeff, the Alumni Association is honored to present you with the 2020 Alumni Service Award in sincere appreciation of your extraordinary service to the university and for your leadership and commitment to USI Athletics, the Romaine College of Business, and the USI Foundation. We applaud you and we thank you. Jeff, now, if you would please make a couple of remarks. Thank you, Jarrett. Uh, very nice. I appreciate that. Um, 
you did some research because I, I was trying to remember all the things that I did and you had some things in there that I'd forgotten about. So um, uh, thank you again. Uh, Janet, you mentioned all the states everybody's in and I am living in Evansville, but I want to say I am in Florida right now. And, uh, and it occurs to me that it's a good thing this award is a service award and not a common sense award. Otherwise, you might take it away because I drove from Evansville yesterday and I drove to Fort Walton Beach, which if you're watching the weather, wasn't a good move because you guys are having perfect weather and, <laughs> and we're on the edge of a hurricane down here. So anyway, I did make it. Uh, uh, I was nervous about being able to even to get this connection. Uh, I'm in a hotel room, but uh, I got on the elevator a while ago to go down and get my phone cord and uh, power went off and I was stuck in the elevator for a while. So I, and I didn't have my phone with me. So anyway. I made it this far and the power is still on and it looks like we still have a connection. So uh, I really appreciate it. Um, it's hard to believe it's been almost 40 years since I did graduate from USI, ISUE at the time. And uh, United Way was one of the first things I got involved with and uh, been on several things since. And I really have uh, enjoyed all those opportunities. Um, I did look at uh, the prior service award recipients. So I, I was I'm in very good company. There's been several people I remember and recognize from that, and I am very appreciative. I didn't uh, bring my uh, thing to Florida <laughs> with me, so but I did also receive uh, I know, uh, one of those uh, crystal awards as well, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Today, we applaud our award recipients. Congratulations to each of you. You are so deserving. It's individuals like you that make what we do here possible. Your support helps expand our reach and deepen our impact. So thank you for all you do. On behalf of the USI Alumni Association, thank you for joining us for this year's Founders Day celebration. This event is an important tradition of honoring our founders and provides an opportunity to recognize the achievements of many people who have helped build this university. As we conclude today's event, please stay on and enjoy the audio video production of the USI alma mater, Constant, Faithful and True, performed by the USI Chamber Choir under the direction of Daniel R. Craig. Peace, God.